Well, hello YouTube. Here we are once again with another unboxing video. This one here is of a 500 watt halogen work light. Of course, these ones come in handy for, well, obviously for uh, work surfaces, work sites, uh, work areas, just to shed more light in uh, dark corners of your basement, garage, uh, even at night while you're uh, doing stuff in the yard when we start losing our daylight. So of course, uh, to take a little tour around the box here, we have ourselves uh, a vinyl insulated lever handle, tempered UV safety glass with heavy duty protective metal grill. Uh, that comes in handy great when you're uh, working in the garage, happen to drop a wrench or a hammer on it, it doesn't smash the lens and break the bulb. It uses one 500 watt quartz halogen lamp, multi-position tilt control tightens to secure a fixture, outdoor rated cord, one foot grounded power cord, S stand adds strength to fixture and allows for secure footing. So of course, uh, let's tear on into her. Opening the box. And of course, finding the product itself wrapped in a bubble wrap and plastic. Pull this out. Of course, that's the uh, grate. And um, here comes the light and the S stand. So of course uh, that's the S stand. And this is the light assembly. You see the bulb inside the packaging itself. Now of course on this uh, looks like there is some assembly required, but uh, that's no big deal. We'll, we'll uh, discard the box now because it's of no value. So we'll start by um, unpackaging I guess all the uh, pieces that it's going to take for this kit. Of course, uh, first one up here is our protective uh, you know, metal grate or grill. Uh, inside the metal grate or grill, there's a package here, looks like the instructions, as well as uh, three screws. Um, you know, bubble wrap. And uh, this one here, well, that's pretty much self-explanatory. That's a little S. Uh, S hoop or S stand that holds everything up. And then the uh, piece de resistance. You got the uh, fixture itself. So we'll rip off the uh, wonderful bubble wrap. So to complete the assembly process, the uh, only tool you will need is a uh, Phillips screwdriver and uh, either a rubber glove and uh, or please a Kleenex or even a even a clean shop rag. Well, why do I say rubber glove or shop rag? Well, the halogen bulb uh, you're not supposed to touch it because if you touch it with your bare hands, the oil from your fingers will actually. Um, prematurely wear the bulb out faster and of course that sucks because uh, quite often it's cheaper to buy and sometimes it's cheaper to buy an, a whole new fixture than what it is to buy a bulb for one of these things unless you luck into a sale like I did on this one and uh, buy a fixture instead of a new bulb. So the first thing we're going to do is attach the fixture itself to the S stand uh, via the um, two out of the three screws they provide. I'm not 100% sure as of yet why there is three screws, but I'm sure uh, all would be revealed if I read the instructions. So, uh, taking the uh, screws here, if you're wondering why there's no nuts, this uh, bottom part here of the stand has little welded on threaded uh, inserts, so that's why there's no uh, hex nuts. So we'll take our Phillips screws, thread them up through the bottom of the stand into the threaded inserts on the fixture. And then of course using your Phillips screwdriver, give them a tighten down. Now of course you don't have to like super tighten this or uh, anything like that because it's really not a, a huge moving or load-bearing screw 
but you want to make sure she's tight enough that she's not going to uh, collapse or fall apart on you while you're using her. So of course, uh, there we go, we'll stand her on up and you can see you have yourself your virtually complete assembled uh, stand. So of course, the next thing here is to install the halogen bulb into the unit. Again, there's a Phillips screwdriver and a uh, wing nut. We'll tighten that all, uh, loosen that all off. And then this here should just uh, slide on on uh, down kind of like a hinge. So with a little bit of effort and a little bit of prying, this does hinge down and come apart. But uh, be careful not to drop it or bust the glass or you lose the little rubber uh, o-ring or washer that goes around the screw. So what we'll do is uh, now of course with our rubber glove or Kleenex or a clean shop rag, we'll install the halogen light. The halogen bulb itself comes in a little plastic protective uh, sleeve uh, surrounded of course in some more foam to uh, prevent it from being busted in transit. So getting out your uh, shop towel or rag or whatever, you can install this or you can just leave it in the little plastic uh, foam type sleeve and put it right in the fixture. Now if you notice here, uh, we'll do a close up shot. So of course to get it in there, you take the one end, slide it on and we'll take the other end, put it in and now she's officially in. Pull back the little foam, discard the foam, and then we can start putting her back together. So now we'll hinge up the top or, or uh, face cover, uh, keeping in mind where the little uh, rubber uh, seal is here. You want to make sure that's back in its groove because uh, when you opened it, you kind of dislodged it a little bit. So once you got the little the gasket back in place, you can flip her on up, taking the uh, rubber o-ring and the uh, fill up screw, you can put her all back together now. Okay, so this little lever on the back, which is held on by a wing nut, uh, first you put the washer that here on the back of the screw, then you put the little lever, kind of like so, then you put the wing nut on the back of it. Now all this little lever does um, is prevent your fingers from being, well, burnt when you go to adjust the angle of the light once the light's been on for a bit. Um, which leads to the downside of this here light is it does get really really hot especially when it's been on for a while. Um, it's recommended not to touch it unless you're using the special lever. Now for the guard here, common sense would say it should have went on when you had it open and you take the glass out. But these ones here have uh, little tabs that go in corresponding uh, cutouts in the frame and you just flex the grill and it drops right in. Pretty much um, like that. So now that you got her all assembled, uh, we can try ourselves a plug-in and uh, see how she works. And so now she's assembled, we're gonna plug her in. Now one of the things I notice on this here model that is missing is an on-off switch. Uh, some of the other ones I've used have had an on off switch which is a very very nice feature to have of course it allows you to turn the device on and off without having to unplug it now unfortunately this one here um, comes without one but I guess um, that's the way she is right you got yourself a nice three prong cord and a plug in so we'll give her a plug in and uh, see how she goes so there you go guys uh, sorry for blinding you there but uh, we got her all going here. I can feel the heat warming up already from it and uh, we're good to go. So um, on a scale of one to 10, um, build quality, I probably give her a good uh, eight or so. Um, it would have been nice if there was an on off switch. Um, that probably was like an extra $2 or so on the cost. But again, you know, you get what you pay for when you buy uh, discount items or uh, cheap items on sale, right? Um, in terms of assembly, uh, ease of assembly, well, it's definitely a nine and a half, ten on ease of assembly. Um, it's got a really, really nice seal around the uh, fixture there to keep any moisture from getting in. 
It has a nice glass uh, lens, of course, that would probably have to be glass because of the heat. Um, they do make new models out nowadays that are LED, which kind of run a lot cooler. But if you are working outside or in a garage in like the fall or the winter of the year, having a few of these lights would be nice because it would actually heat up your work area a little better. But guys, this has been an unboxing, assembly, and a little bit of review of a 500 watt halogen work light. And as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, 